so um the customer came in new customer came in with uh the issue was no jig no jig break yeah no jig break they're not working right and um, and uh, let's just uh let people know this is a d13 930,000 yeah 930 what uh, what is it 13 yeah yeah so no jig breaks we you started digging and what have we step by step like what did you arrive at what's the issue this is what i arrived at right now And we, this is the first time we're seeing the truck, just to set some context. Yeah. Uh, and we're kind of running through a list of things that we're finding out that were messed up. So what's going on well, here? Yeah, what we got here is the oil temperature and the uh, oil level sensor. It's uh, it's broken. Yeah. Can you dim your uh, yeah, flashlight so too? So bright, right? Here's a plug. It's broken. It's broken on. Onto the plug right here. Hold on. Give, give me the flashlight and show me the show me the tip. The tip better. So over here it's broke. We got this broken over here. Yeah. So what is it? Clipping. What is it causing then? Can you explain? Yeah. So the engine's not reading any oil. Engine. Uh, the engine. The ECM isn't reading any uh, oil temperature on it. So that's why it's not letting the jig brakes activate. And this is the broken piece. And we're thinking, since the oil pan is new. Yeah, you can see it's new because it's black. It's not green. Yeah. So it will replace whoever replaced that or the filter might have knocked it down. With a wrench or something, right? Yeah. It's been like this for a while because you can see some corrosion. Small corrosion right there. Mm -hmm. So. And have like you eliminated any other uh, problems with the j break? Uh, as far as why well, hooked up the laptop everything is uh everything else is reading the only thing that isn't reading is the oil temperature okay and that's not gonna let it turn on for safety reasons yeah so now unfortunately the oil pan got to come down again whoever you know whoever put it on now we have to drop it put a new sensor in there because uh, also it's not reading any oil level Normally, you would hook up the laptop. Yeah. Look at that. Engine oil level. Yeah, it's not, not showing anything. So, you, like we go to consumable fluids, that's the only one. So, that's also another indication right there. So, we're going to go ahead and look at the So, either, either they knocked it out, putting a filter on, or somebody, when they put the new oil pen, I would, messed I, it up, hooking it up. Yeah, I would guess like maybe down the line after a few services it got knocked down. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, if you if you're putting a new sensor and you're putting the oil pan and you break it at that moment, you might just drop it and get a new sensor out of it. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that. So so we're gonna swap the sensor and inspect the oil pan. Yeah. And yeah, because that could have been. I mean, it it's it's what I'm trying to see, like. No nobody is gonna consciously leave that like that no hopefully hopefully not right because if you're already sealing up a leaky oil pan and you're putting it up you... then it's a very shitty job yeah 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 right. okay so let's get the sensor and, sensor and, and see how the jig do you have over. any other codes on this truck what did you find that's the only one right here that uh, engine oil temperature it's an active code perfect so pretty uh that's that's a possible <laughs> if you don't have um engine brake yeah that's definitely one of the possibilities so either that or you sometimes the sensor on these uh clutch pedals go bad the micro switch on them mm -hmm. or the switch itself. or the switch itself yeah. yeah so but i checked that out like you know press so you can hear it sometimes like what's easy to find out if it if this went out uh well if this went out then your cruise control wouldn't work but he said the cruise control was working so yeah, yeah. This is obviously yeah, working. Yeah, true. And uh, did, are you finding any other issues here with like major things that we have to address? Uh, neglected pop. stuff that was hasn't been addressed for a long time. I got these hood shocks. Oh, right the here. hood shocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah ready to gonna mess up it. your hood. Um, power divider seal over there. A couple things that we found. 
So might as well address that while it's here. Yeah. And that's an OTR truck, so that's gonna yeah. be taken care of. And other than that, I think it's it, it's in a decent shape. Yeah, for the for the mileage and the year, yeah. it's in good shape. They know what they're doing. Um, it, I've talked to them. They have, they, a couple they, other they, trucks, have right? they have five trucks, so they they know what they're doing. And, I mean, it seems like they care about um, the trucks. They just they just didn't have good luck with shops. Yeah. So, all right, well, perfect. Now now they're yeah. now they found a. Let's see if we can help them out because um, I want to look at some other units that they have, and they have some pack cars. So. Oh, they have a variety. They have a variety of okay. uh, different trucks, straightliners and pack cars, so it can work. So. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, share, and I will talk to you soon.